Alright boys, what's up? It's a boy Z here, and I just realized something. I got a boom arm, and it's right here, and I actually have to move it. That's actually probably a lot better. Any though, today what I'm going to be doing is something not so different. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get better quality on your videos. You guys been, uh, I know you guys been watching my videos and you might, and you've been asking me, oh yeah, how do you get such nice quality? Oh my god, your videos look awesome. How do you do that? Well, it's basically a simple thing. <laughs> It's basically coming comes down to lighting. No, your lighting setup doesn't actually have to be anything like really special. Like right now, actually, I'll actually take a video of my lighting setup. So this is actually just my lighting setup right now. It's just a lamp bouncing off the light onto my face, and then it just the blue yeti down right here on a boom arm. Yes, I got a boom arm, and it's just back there, just another light there. That's basically all I have just for. You know, nothing too special whatsoever, and I just hit record on the phone again. Oh shit, actually. That. It's just lighting basically honest to god. So first thing is actually to have good lighting. You know, hey, listen, it doesn't take much to actually have good lighting. And so if you look at some of like my past videos as well, you've been kind of noticing that actually also those videos actually look pretty nice. And that's actually because first of all, I was actually just using natural lighting. And honest to god, lighting is not really that expensive. It just needs to be good lighting. Like natural lighting is really, really good. And artificial lighting, like what I'm doing right now, even though I'm just having a lamp up here, it's not really the best lighting in the world, but hey, it's still pretty good lighting listen best good lighting is not really that expensive and good lighting will actually completely change the way your videos look and all that type of stuff is all i'm also going to share some tips with like shooting like an iphone actually right now so when you're actually shooting with an iphone or anything like that or even an android first of all you really don't want to be using the built-in camera apps with both of them right now actually the camera app on my iphone is actually known as movie pro i guess which is actually this thing right here and honest to god it's a pretty good app you know you're able to control everything with the focus and all that type of stuff but the thing with the focus is actually when you leave your phone on automatic focus that's the thing i guess it's really want to try to actually keep everything in focus which is not really necessarily a bad thing but it's not really that good of a thing at all unless you're shooting against like a back white wall then that's just fine i guess i don't know to get around this you actually want to take your subject zoom in all the way make sure it's in tad focus but actually get her a tad out of focus and then zoom out and what this is actually going to allow you to do is actually get more of a separation from the subject when it's like a tad out of focus. The one problem with doing this is actually it's not going to be really the sharpest image in the world. And if you like try to crop in like what I'm doing right now, it's definitely going to lose a little bit of detail compared to when it's zoomed out. But other than that, though, if you're vlogging or anything like that, like being like, hey, what's up, guys? Definitely, you're not going to be able to tell, see a difference. And definitely, you're just shooting B-roll of like a subject or like a person or anything like that. Definitely, no one's going to be able to tell the thing is slightly out, out of focus. Focus. This actually also applies with like camcorders or anything like that. If you have a Canon Vixie or anything like that, you can actually try this out on the camcorder like that, and it would actually allow you to get more of a blurrier background, but as well, just all in all, it's gonna get you a better image. And then the final tip is just with like SLRs or anything like that. Honest to god, just make sure you're close to the camera if you're using the kit lens and make sure that everything is in focus. Right now, I'm actually still using the kit lens on my Canon Rebel T1i, but eventually I will actually get a 24 millimeter pancake lens will actually improve everything and is well actually improving with the camera you actually currently have when you look at like some of my older videos you might be wondering this actually doesn't look good but it's actually was shot on the same exact camera it still looks pretty good when you like watch the first time i got the camera but here's the thing though you might be noticing the results from back then to now are nothing close to like what it is right now honest to god it's just learning the camera settings and if you're like shooting on an iphone or anything like that get an app install the app and and you could actually just experiment with like stuff with the app and definitely learn your camera right now like flip open like a phone or anything like that or if your phone is basically the only camera you have then you could just you know i guess install an app on it learn like the settings and all that type of stuff and if you actually do actually have an actual camera flipper on learn like all the settings actually try to mess around with the camera to get a better image any other guys i'd hope you guys enjoyed this video and yes this is actually the first time actually using my boom arm actually which is pretty cool actually because now the mic is actually also a lot more closer to the mouth and all that type of stuff but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you liked it and if i'll catch you boys right on the next one